Hello students. Welcome to Teach You Smart. Let's continue our journey through the chapter. Mensuration. In the previous session, we saw some quadrilaterals like square, rectangle, parallelogram, and trapezium, and how to calculate the areas. Today we're going to see the area of another quadrilateral. Do you remember the quadrilateral in this shape? Oh, yes, it's a rhombus. We started in the previous chapter, understanding quadrilaterals. That rhombus is a parallelogram with sides of equal length. In a rhombus, the diagonals perpendicularly bisect each other. Here we have to find the area of a rhombus. We know that, for finding the area of a quadrilateral, we need to divide it into two triangles. Here also we can use the same method. That is, the rhombus can be split into two triangles by drawing a diagonal. ABCD is a rhombus, and it can be split into two triangles by drawing the diagonal AC. BD is the other diagonal that meets AC at point O. We know that the diagonals of a rhombus perpendicularly bisect each other. Now, the area of rhombus ABCD equals area of triangle ABC plus area of triangle ADC equals 1 by 2 multiplied by AC multiplied by BO plus 1 by 2 multiplied by AC multiplied by OD equals 1 by 2 multiplied by AC multiplied by BO plus OD equals 1 by 2 multiplied by AC multiplied by BD. That is, the area of a rhombus is half of the product of the length of the diagonals. If AC equals D1 and BD equals D2, then the area of a rhombus equals 1 by 2 multiplied by D1 multiplied by D2. Let's see an example. Find the area of a rhombus with diagonals 8 cm and 5 cm. Given that, the length of the diagonal is 8 cm and 5 cm. That is, D1 equals 8 cm and D2 equals 5 cm. Therefore, area of rhombus equals 1 by 2 multiplied by D1 multiplied by D2 equals 1 by 2 multiplied by 8 multiplied by 5 equals 20 square centimeters before winding up let's check how much you understood by doing an activity find the area of a rhombus having diagonals of 10 centimeters and 6 centimeters that's all for now see you in the next class